As the number of air passengers around the world is expected to double by 2040, reducing wait times has emerged as a key challenge for the airline industry, with pundits calling for AI to be incorporated into the entire process. 2040년까지 전 세계 항공 승객 수가 두 배로 증가할 것으로 예상되면서 대기 시간을 줄이는 것이 항공업계의 핵심 과제로 떠오른 가운데 수속 절차 전반에 AI를 도입해야 한다는 전문가 의견이 나왔습니다. Right, so we're going to have more and more people flying. Yes, according yeah. to the International Air Transport Association, the IATA, they forecast we're going to have double the mm. number of people flying by 2040. Mm. And so that's kicked off a lot of speculation about what's going to happen. Right. And a lot of people with knowledge of the industry are saying that, well, what's probably going to happen is putting the kind of online booking processes mm. into airport procedures. Right. So in the same way that we can buy a uh, book a ticket online or reserve a seat online uh, in some airports in the US you can actually book a security slot online the time you go through security do you want to go through security at 10 30 mm. you book the 10 30 slot okay um, the other suggestion is to do with AI so for example AI scanning carry-on baggage uh, to help speed up the process mm. and also be accurate because that's another thing. You always get some passenger kicking off saying, you waited incorrectly, or that's not right, or mm. whatever it may be. Um, and of course, one of the big things we've seen in some airports is facial recognition. That's being used, but it's going to be most likely being used more and more and more to help speed up people mm. getting in to the departure land and out of arrivals. Um, the other thing... Uh, that's being experimented with, uh, for example, in China Southern, is using electronic baggage tags. So instead of having that loop of paper mm. that gets ripped off and right. recycled, you actually have an electronic thingamidoodah mm -hmm. that will uh, keep track of your bag. Okay, and that's going to be more efficient time-wise as well, I expect? Uh, I would think so, okay. and uh, also paper-wise. Mm. 자 이렇게 비행기를 타고 여행하는 사람들의 숫자가 많이 늘어날 것으로 예상되는 가운데 그렇다면 대기 시간도 이제 마찬가지로 늘 수도 있잖아요. 그런 대기 시간, wait time을 어떻게 줄일 수 있을까 여러 가지 고민이 나오고 있는 것이고요. 여기에서 AI를 활용하면 은 좋겠다라는 여러 가지 방안들이 제시가 되고 있습니다. Let's have a look at the first expression. Reducing wait times has emerged as a key challenge. It has appeared, but not surprisingly, not suddenly, not in an instant, in a flash, but over maybe a little bit of time. Uh, if something emerges, it's not a quick reveal. It's okay. maybe a slightly slower reveal. Mm. Emerge라는 것은요, 모습을 드러내다, 아니면 은 어딘가에서 쫙 올라와, 부상하다 라는 뜻이 있습니다. 그러니까 reducing wait times라는 이 문제가 아, 키 챌린지 하나의 도전 과제로 이제 부상했다라고 보면 될것 같고요. 아, 그 다음에는 pundits, so experts, yes. they are calling for AI to be incorporated in the entire process. Yeah, if you incorporate something into something else, you're either mixing it into it mm. or you're making it a part of it. Mm. Uh, so, for example, on a Tuesday, Sue and I like to incorporate a little bit of humour into our <웃음> expression, explanations, to help make it easier to understand. 네, 포함시키는 것을 말하는데요. 어, 방송하면서 중간중간 이제 폴 선생님이 유머, 가미해서 이렇게 설명을 많이 해주시죠. 그럴 때 Paul incorporates humor into his explanations. Yeah, I, I don't have to. No, there yeah. may be some listeners who don't want me to, but <웃음> I do. 네, 그래서 incorporate가 뭔가를 더해서 포함시킨다라는 뜻이 있는데 여기서는요 AI를 활용하다. 포함시켜서 이 전체적인 과정에 있어 보다 더 효율적으로 움직일 수 있도록 승객 수는 많아질 것인데 거기에 대한 여러 가지 방안들이 당연히 나와야겠죠. Yeah. So for example, if maybe your doctor says you need to lose some weight, you decide to start incorporating yoga into your daily routine. Ah, oh, that's a good idea as well. 그 하루하루 일과 중에 이제 요가를 하나 포함시켜 가지고 조금 더 건강하게 생활을 한다면은. 어, 체중을 감량하는 데 도움이 될수 있겠죠. 자, 그렇게 뭔가를 포함하다. To incorporate something이라고 합니다. 
Here's the headline again. As the number of air passengers around the world is expected to double by 2040, reducing wait times has emerged as a key challenge for the airline industry, with pundits calling for AI to be incorporated into the entire process.